Yeah. Organizing a friendly. No, 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 not with this one. Black poison and the. Mm. I'm saying it, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's against black poison, please. Okay. Not here, okay. No. No, here, no. Ah. <laughs> no, here, no. No, the, the no, security had me to play, yeah? yeah. Here, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, coach, and congratulations you. on the win. Congratulations. And setting records, just your perspective on the 90 minutes. Yeah, congratulations to, to the team. Um, congratulations, so proud of the players today. Really very, very, very proud of the players today. Um, not an easy one, but if you look at holistically, even the numbers, uh, four big chances for us, zero for them, and and very very good team, zero big chances. We we gave them nothing uh, in the attempts to 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 block our our build up. Uh, they tried thirteen times, nothing came off. Okay, in the second half we didn't build up so good, especially once we went one man down. But okay, the pressure was there and. Um, the players decided to, to 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 be a bit more conservative, but but very proud of the players, proud of their effort, and proud of proud of their result. And congratulations to 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 the players and to the team, and 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 uh, congratulations to Mamelodi Sundowns Football Club. Happy for the Yellow Nation. Yeah. 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 Yeah, show now. Uh, last season, I can't remember if it was last season or the season before. You spoke about training the whole squad yep. instead of like a starting eleven. Yeah. Um, with the quality that you have, and you you make eight changes against PS Galaxy, and then the the, the fluidity is still the same, and the players are still the play uh, are still the same. Yeah. Playing at the same level, They're, you are still winning. Um, what what does it what, what does it take? To, to keep the squad competitive, uh, having such a big squad. Yeah, you 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 got to make them feel like they are part of the process, and 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 uh, of course of course well, that's why we we train for for that. That's why we we play even friendly matches for that. Even when we we have, for an example, when once we went to Pulukwana, we went into a situation where we had to where to get to a level where everyone was getting 90 minutes, but we would play two times 90 minutes, for an example, and we would not, we would not leave one group uh, behind the other group. And so, uh, but also compliments to them because they, they are good human beings and good human beings before they are good football players and they compete with not, with, with, without a, a toxic feeling amongst each other, it's healthy competition. And um, and it helps. It helps that the good football players are good people, you know, and 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 that makes them feel part of the process, and 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 that assists greatly. Coach, did you find it rather odd how the decision for the red card and the consultation around it came came about? Because one of the things that we don't have the VAR in this country, and then you've got situations like that, and then I think following to that. When, when you've got, I mean, games always give you different situations where you have to react. And I think instinctively one would have thought you would just try to defend and take a one-goal lead, but you still go on and, and score. How, how do you look at that, that situation where the team still plays, even though they've got this different situation of we've got a man down, not used to, but still uh, play in the manner that they do? Yeah, good question. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to speak too much about the situation with the referees. I don't speak a lot. Uh, in fact, I don't speak about referees. Uh, I'm not paid for that, so I don't. I don't speak about that. Um, about the situation with regards to how we responded, we that's how we are built. It's the DNA of the club. It's the DNA of the group. It's the DNA 
of the of the team to the team is not built to absorb pressure and to defend deep in the block and hit on counter attack. It's not it's not a squad that is that is that is profiled like that with recruitment and with training. And so um, I'm not surprised that we 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 still went and tried to play the way we we train. And um, even though it was very very difficult and we had some moments where we had to suffer, which is good for us in terms of uh, the big games that are still coming up with the Super League and Champions League. But but uh, we show we we always show that we are prepared to run. You know, I say to the players. When we have the ball, we play like a big team. We are brave, and we and and they know. I don't like it when they hide, even when it's very very difficult. But at the same time, when we don't have the ball, we 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 suffer and we run like a, a, a smaller club that's got a lot of humility with the players and that. And we have one thing. One thing you 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 will always find is that personality. We will play with intensity. We will play. We will run when we don't have the ball, and we'll try our level best all the time to have the ball and dominate. And there were moments that were very good for us today. A few moments where I didn't like the personnel, but but most of the moments I liked today a lot. Coach, come from, from soccer. Sure, come. Um, congratulations on the win. First Thank you, Kamu. Uh, Tevoka Mukwena and Ronan Williams have been arguably your best players this whole season. And they've started almost every game in the league up until the TS game. Uh, is the idea with the both of them to keep them, wrap them around cotton wool, uh, like you said, in anticipation of continental football that's coming up. I, I wish I could say uh, wrap them with cotton wool, but but the, the long and short of it is that yes, it's, it's just rotation and uh, giving others a, a fair chance also, uh, which is uh, and I think they've done very very well. AJ has, has been superb in the last two games. Zungu has had some uh, very good minutes for him and to build him, and uh, he's 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 had uh, very good possibilities. And then, uh, of course, Dennis Onyango is Dennis Onyango, you know, is uh, is is he's been in that space, and then that also gives you an opportunity to have Kennedy on the bench, to have to have Riyad on the bench, to still also be part of the group, and that helps a lot um, with uh, with uh, the group dynamics, and especially because of the leadership status. But uh, as I always say to you guys, I don't like to speak about individuals because because football, uh, being the sport that it is, is a team sport and and um, it's huge compliments to everybody because uh, there's a lot of hard work that goes in behind the scenes uh, from from the coaches to the management to everybody. So so uh, a collective effort and a, and an effort that needs to be applauded as a as a collective. Yeah, coach. Um I just want to look at, uh, you talk about your hectic program yeah. um, going forward, and I was looking at uh, Al Hilal um, in there in Tanzania, uh, playing a series of matches there. I saw your advanced team um, in Cameroon already. Um, is the mode already changing, um, already looking uh, forward to the intensity uh, of those matches? Um, and, and also, has AJ played his last game for you as, as Sundowns? Um, or things could still change with uh, the window closing on Tuesday. Uh, I've spoken a lot about AJ, so I don't want to go into that space. I've, I've already spoken and my, my feelings are very consistent. And and also I've got to speak not just on in my capacity, but I've got to speak on behalf of the club. So I don't want to go into that space because if I speak, then uh, it's easy to be taken out of context. And I've already said that the the issue lies with management. And once there is further updates with regards to the situation, the management will will update. But you know my feelings personally uh, about about his importance and and uh, his role within the within the group. Uh, I focus on 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 uh, on Champions League for sure. Champions League is a different uh, space, uh, much more intensive. Uh, and of course, then um, we have to try to anticipate and try to look at the fixtures. But wh how we work is is one game at a time. And now the biggest focus is on recovering the players, uh, lots of water, lots of rest. Uh, we've got seven days before the next match, so uh, I'll spend a bit of time, fortunately, to to watch the next opposition. And uh, but first is to recover, and then and then it's 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 first is pirates first. And and before we even start to think about many other things, we one step at a time, one game at a time, and and try to win every single match.
coach. Um, sure, Lawrence. Eleven goal contributions for Cassius this season. Um, excluding Is that so? The, the Black uh, Label Cup. Um, is it something that surprised you, or was it something that you knew was in his locker that he can hit the ground running? Right? Mm, um, Kashi has got a lot of potential still, I say to you guys. If there is one person that, uh, the, the younger ones, I'm, 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 a, I'm very protective of the younger ones, you know, because uh, um, I've seen it in South Africa before and many a times where, where we, we, you know, it's, it's, called, it's called the curse of the rising star. You know, it's the curse. It's the, 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 you see the shooting star is shooting and then you make a wish and, and just before you finish making a wish, it disappears. So I'm very, very cautious about the young ones and I, I, I plead always for patience, uh, protect them, put them a little bit in the space where you don't give them too much attention and too much uh, limelight, uh, spotlight and, and allow them to come through and grow, you know, and, and if they have that environment, the uh, very similar to to how Percy had not a lot of sh glitz and glam, Madisha the late, not a lot of glitz and glam, Kulisi the late, not a lot of glitz and uh, not. <laughs> sorry, yo, God, God forbid, Mkulisi, <laughs> uh, uh, not a lot of glitz and glam. You know, came through the ranks, uh, and and then when he when he needs when he needed the shine, he got the shine, uh, but. I'd still be very ca careful with cashes because there's a lot to improve, lot to improve. Lot. You saw it even, even now when he plays, and he played against uh, Jima and Cardoso is, and then he he has to play now because we are one man short. He has to play more for the space in front, uh, because the block is a little bit deeper, and then he's got to link up and hold up the play and wait for the for the for the players to move a little bit closer. He struggles still with that. So, so there's so much to to. To, to improve for, for cashers, but we'll get there, we'll get them. Can we have the last three questions? Uh, Karabo. Last three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good evening, Coach. Sure, Karab. Congratulations on the victory. Thank you, congratulations uh, coach, I, to the team. You know, there, was, there was a lot of noise uh, made with regards to fair play, this and that. Uh, I also had an opportunity, you know, in regards to, to speak to a former coach uh, that you worked with, uh, three-time Champions League winner, and he spoke in glowingly about you, you know, you don't sleep, the hard work that you put in, the player development and so forth. How does it make you feel that, albeit people say financial fair play, but the man that's achieved so much still speaks so highly of you? Yeah, I can only speak only in glowing terms. Uh, I, uh, you, we, I know South Africa would love to for it to be a spicy relationship with uh, but people don't know. Uh, I consider Coach Pizzo uh, not just a mentor, but a father figure for sure. And uh, because he played with, with, with my father, he did. He, they shared the pitch. Uh, he's a very close family friend. Uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a Sundowns man. Uh, he's done so much for this football club and uh, regarded as uh, for sure and rightfully so as a as a as an icon and and will go into the, the the books of this club as that and the contribution he's made in my i was listening to 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 ateta speak about pep and i i could speak and go on and on and, and run out of superlatives because uh, he's taught me a lot and uh, I, I, for that i will always be extremely grateful um for 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 the support and the education that he's 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 embedded into into my career, and uh, uh, I'm only humbled that he can say what he says. But but he knows the also the influence that is that is uh, imparted onto my into my career, and and for that I will always be grateful. A lot of emotions, coach. Is it is it that deep? Yeah, well, it's, it has to be because because I don't think I would be where I am today without without his the role that he's played for sure. So. Um, he, he knows that though uh, people have to be given their flowers while they they still can receive them and he knows that i don't i don't shy away from telling him and uh, as as and i said as i say there's a lot of people would love it to be spicy and uh, but it's far from that very very far from that <coughs> can it be one question each because i see more hands coming up Thanks, Lonnie. 
Yeah. Good headache. Very good. It's a few moments where also I so, uh, and uh, what I like is I speak before, and when I say to you, a few moments where Sviso thinks there's a there's a there's, and you see when we went to a back three he's very comfortable because he has a lateral center half to 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 cover the space behind. So so when I spoke about Sifiso's uh, evolution in terms of playing in a back four, uh, a lot of people have at it. But but you see it sometimes uh, even on the pitch, you know, you, he controls the space in front, especially in possession, the space in front uh, much much better than he controls the space behind, and 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 but that's because of the playing four five seasons in a in a back three with a wing back sort of role. But a lot of work, um, lot of lot of work still to be done. But but the past two games he's been very very good, Sifiso, very very good and. And but so has the team, you know. I, I've liked I've liked the performance of the team the last two games. I must tell you, uh, and uh, the personality has been good. The the usage of the ball has been good. And, um, the press has been good. The build up schemes have been good, and the the willingness to want to play, the energy, you know. So so you when you speak of Sifisu, you can speak of almost all these players that have played the last two games because. They they they've put their hand up and they've provided us with very very good uh, healthy competition. Coach midweek, I saw on the bench you had a boy Karanse. Yep. Interestingly, I had watched him a weekend before with in the DTC um, Lightning days. Um, I've been seeing all these youngsters you've been bringing. Is the mode had been tweaked um, a bit because it's it's not been like that. Uh, in the past, so are you tweaking the model, um, and 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 also, uh, yeah, no, 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 stick stick mm -hmm. within that, uh, because normally also you send your players out, uh, especially those coming from down there. But with uh, my life it's been different, mm. straight straight to the team. Yeah, uh, Jerome has got a bright again same with Cassius, uh, say, uh, and maybe it's also because of my. My background as a youth coach, you know, having spent a lot of time at Platinum Stars with, uh, with the likes of Dean and Lovu, for for an example, with the youth, uh, being at at Mamelodi Sundowns with the youth, uh, and 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 even when I was uh, at my former club, when, and we had players like Tabiso Munyane, for an example, coming through, for me is uh, I like this feeling, and I think the Mamelodi Sundowns fans like this feeling where the, there's a player that they can connect to and connect with because he comes from the academy, he comes from, he has that feeling of the, the club and, and what it takes to to achieve. And, and that's why they love the, the Yellow Nation, loves um, Kulisi, they love uh, Pesitao, they'll always have that relationship with him. And, and these players have this connection, you know, with the, with the supporters because they come from from the youth within the, the, the structures. but. Uh, when you speak about these players, you cannot then also turn a blind eye to the hard work that's being done in the academy and in the in the development structures by by David Notuane, Surprise Muriri, uh, uh, Godfrey Sapula, Sean Bishop, and and the likes. Sam Mbata also with a lot of experience with working with youth and and producing very good players, and and so but also very calm because we are trying to teach Jerome a lot of things. Um, so it needs a bit of time and patience, and it's, but it's going to come. We have to, we have to do more in terms of giving opportunities to these kids. Uh, it's important, very, very important, not just, not just, as I say, for the supporters, but also for, for, for the return in investment for the club. The club puts a lot of resources into that space. And so um, when a lot of people are, are going out to, to look for, for players, the first for us is to start there. And maybe, as I said, it's because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a victim of my, of my past, you know, I'm, as a youth coach. And, and, and for sure, uh, I try to, to start within, within, within the club structures first. Coach, when you look at the not just your performances, but how you are being pushed or, or not in, in certain matches uh, in, the, in the PSL. And you said you don't want to talk about the, the, the games that you play in the Champions League, but you've got Pirates, yes. 
but now you must start thinking with your own metrics where are you uh, in as far as competing in the Champions League for different you know demands of that space where would you say the PSL has put you this season for that kind of a, a challenge We'll only know once we go to it, uh, once we start going. But the, the the PSL is extremely competitive. You know, sometimes uh, you win games and people think it's a God-given right to win games. It's very difficult to win games uh, in the PSL. It's very, very difficult. And you only have to look at why others are not doing what, what, what we are doing. It's because it's very difficult, because otherwise everybody would do it. You know, it's not easy. And uh, that's why I sit here and I say compliments to the players. The game belongs to the players and I and I applaud them all the time. But it's not it's not because I've, I've got nothing else to say. It is because it's genuinely well, well, well-deserved praise. You know, if you look at if you look at a lot of teams, um, Real Madrid to go to a, a different level needed a, a Barca. Bayern needed a Dortmund at times to to push them, um, and you go Man City needed a Liverpool. You know, without a rival uh, going extremely intense with you, it, it becomes very very difficult psychologically to 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 continue on on an upward trajectory. But but this group of players, they we come every day. We work very very hard for every single action, for for from from videos to 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 corrections. To, to to opposition analysis to 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 training where every ball counts and every training session matters and every action on the pitch matters and to have that is is that demand is not easier is not not easy and 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 we should not we should not because it because it it happens it it, sh- it should not be embedded in uh, under no circumstances to for people to perceive it as a as 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 a God-given right or, or, or very, very easy. It's incredible what this group of players continues to do every single day. It's incredible. And uh, they, 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 deserve, they deserve even more praise than they get, you know, because, because, we, 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 because they are doing it, we think easy, but it's very difficult. But on your metrics, what are you seeing? On the metrics, no, well, we, we, are, we are in line with... What you don't know, Skepe, is, uh, is is that we compare ourselves with the best in, in the world. And we are in line there. Uh, two weeks two weeks ago, uh, I got a report from, from I won't mention the name, but a, a, a European-based analyst uh, that I had asked a friend of mine to, to do analysis of, of, of the team. And, 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 and he looked at the team, he cut it down to into into different parts and and the set pieces and 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 everything and and the report you will see the numbers they compare with the best in the world and that's what we try to do is to we try to because that's the space we try to compete with champions league with with club world cup with the the the, the super league that's the space we have to be in and 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 hence as i say very proud of the players and an incredible effort from the boys um, not today being the, the president's birthday, uh, this year being <coughs> the 20th year since he obtained... Um, 20 years? Yeah, 20 Time years, flies. Yeah, because he got 51% stake in 2003. Coach, what, what do you have to say? I know you've said so much about uh, the president, uh, President Mozeka, but... When you look at this team, the type of investment that the Mozeka family has made into this team, um, not only in terms of like signing players from outside, but you just spoke of the development. I mean, you won the came with the cup to winning a Champions League as an assistant coach, being the youngest coach in the country to win a league as a head coach as well. Um, signing a player like Mshishi at age 20 from Vardos, uh, t- about to turn 21, and you can argue to say he's the face of the league right now to uh, developing players like Cassius, players like Percy. Um, with all that's been said, when you look at the type of investment he's made and his, we can say 20 years stint in South African football, what, what, what more do you say about uh, this man and um, the impact he's had on football in the nation? Um, sure. Where do you even start? 
uh, I think first is 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 we are very fortunate, and we don't know how fortunate we are um, to have an individual like Dr. Patrice Motsipe. We we are we are living we are living every single day amongst a, a generational human being. You know the the. Uh, people like him don't come a every decade. They, you you find you find one, and then you wait a, a little bit of a, a a generation or a lifetime for for the next one. Um, and not enough, n not enough praise. Uh, credit goes to 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 him personally, as a human being. I say to you, when COVID came out, uh, and there was the first signs of COVID in America, who was the first person to donate money? It's Dr. Patrice Motsipe. When we had floods in KZN and we needed uh, support because we had issues with the relief fund and the disaster of relief fund in South Africa, who was one of the first people to 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 come through for for the South African people, is Dr. Patrice Motsipe. Every single year, the, the Motsipe Foundation, Motsipe Family puts out what we would call the Christmas with our people, drives to locations unknown uh, to, 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 to distribute toys and to make a Christmas a memorable feeling for, for many of the South Africans well, who is behind this drive is Dr. Patrice Motsipe. Uh, the South African football comes through not just even from from that perspective. You you look at you look at the different portfolios. Is education, is is sport, is uh, arts and culture. Uh, musicians uh, come through and they say, oh, you know what? I had a problem because of the, the who comes through is Dr. Patrice Mutebe. Politics, uh, uh, religion with the churches. We traveled to, 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 to the World Cup. We traveled with traditional healers. We traveled with uh, church leaders. Uh, we traveled with uh, kings of, 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 of uh, presidents, kings of, of religions, uh, different communities within South Africa. Some of the places, I met some of the guys, and they were telling me I'm, 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 a, I'm, I'm the king of this kingdom. And I've never heard of some of these places. but. But who is behind all of this is Dr. Patrice Motsipe. The South African football is, is, is in a space where for sure there's a lot of hard work that was, was done by, uh, and a lot of credit needs to go to Dr. Koza, Dr. Uh, Kaiser Mutawong for, for the incredible work that they've done with South African football and to put it at the level that it is at. But, but the life beat and, and the pulse at the moment is without the Motsipe Foundation for sure. If you look uh, PSL, with with regards to the clubs, you talk whatever you want to talk about financial fair play. It's not, it's not. Uh, I go to 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 Vargas and take him shishi. It's, you don't pick him shishi. You pay for shishi. Yeah, you don't go to Plumfontein Celtics and pick Neo Miami. You pay for Neo Miami, uh, and and there's a recipient of the funds, uh, and and those funds then go into generating some form of income. To, 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 to financially assist the clubs to stay afloat. Uh, where's, where is that coming from? It comes from the generosity of Dr. Patrice Mutsipe as, as the leader and, 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 and the father of the Mutsipe Foundation. And so when you look at that, you look at the PSL, you look at the, 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 the National First Division, what, what's it called? It's, it's called the, the, the Mutsipe uh, Foundation uh, League now. Who's behind that? Who, 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 when, when all the other businesses were saying, ah, no, don't touch football at the moment because financially we're not in that space. Who came, who came out? Is, is Dr. Patrice Mutsipe. Uh, Dr. Koza said it even himself, not me. I didn't say it and I'm not, I'm not blowing his horn, but Dr. Ivan Koza said it himself. He said, it took one phone call. It took one phone call. And he said, yep, go ahead and, and, and let's do this thing. And, 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 and he resuscitated the the national first division and 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 you you go to safa who's the major uh, financial uh, support uh, who provides the, the major financial support is dr patrice Mutsipe. so you have k Mutsipe. 
the competition for the SASFA and the schools competitions. Who's behind it? The Mozipa Foundation. Who's behind that? It's Dr. Patrice Mozipa. Where in the world do you find a, a, a family? Where in the world? In, in the world, you go, go. I, I watch football, I, I read about football, I, I read a lot of autobiographies. Where in the world you find you find such a man? I can, only, I can only think of the Medici family. Not even they, not even they come to to, to that level. No, so it's, 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 it's true. It's that not even they come to that level. So, so, so I I say to you guys, when when you when you write when you write uh, these these things, also write about people who make these contributions, because these 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 human beings are are people that come once in our lifetime. They come once in our lifetime. And and they need to be appreciated because they are human too. And we all forget sometimes that Dr. Patrice Mutsipa is human too. And every human being wants to feel valued. It's a Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Every human being wants to feel loved and appreciated. And so South Africans, we are privileged. We sit with a person that is uh, the, the, the leader of KEF, the president of KEF, he's South African. Hundred percent, wide range influence, incredible. So, so I, I, I don't have, I don't have enough words, uh, and and I don't have, and I don't think, I'm I'm gifted in that. But I just my plea is to, of course, for sure, first is to say happy birthday uh, uh, on behalf of the team and the players. But for sure, my my only plea is, is. Just show a little bit of respect and appreciation. He deserves it. It's not, it's not, you you doing it because you 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 like him or you don't like him. He deserves it, and give <laughs> give him give him his flowers so that you inspire the next the next generation or the next leader of a family that's going to have some form of financial uh, capacity to be able to 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 help others and and to 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 give out because. Because this country is crying out for, for a little bit more kindness, a little bit more of 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 human beings like Dr. Patrice who are very selfless in their deeds. This country is crying out for that. We may we may look and we say, ah, the, you know, we we all live our own lives, and and today's society is very much like that. Today's society is very much me by myself, and I look, take care and I mind my own business. But that's not how uh, culturally, as a, as, a, as, a, as a people and as Africans, we were raised. I used to grow up and when we didn't have sugar, my gran would say, go next door, you tell sugar. You know, batu but, you know, the, the thing. And, and that's how, but, but, but what, what has happened to today's society? So the people that still uphold the values of, of honesty, integrity, selflessness, uh, people, other people first. Uh, 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 so many of these, 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 these loyalty. Uh, so many of these values that you don't find in today's society. The people that still uphold and uh, who we are still fortunate to watch, and see them uphold these values, are people that still need to be put here, put here, and 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 we have to, we have, because. And 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 this is my parting shot. Biblically, biblically, Kent's, no great man elected himself or was elected by others. There's one thing uh, 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 Jacob Zuma used to say. He used to say this thing, and you, he would quote kings. He would say, when you're not happy with me, you pray for me as the leader. Because, because there's an anointing. Leaders don't, it's not a democratic process. Uh, when 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 there's leaders, it's not by by it, there's a there's a there's a there's God's hand. Uh, you you are ordained, you're chosen, and 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 we we are fortunate enough to live amongst a man that's chosen by God to lead us and to show us that greatness as black people is possible. And we sh we sh we should appreciate. That. Coach Kisai Senior, we have another celebrant in the team in the form of Doza. Doza, yeah. Uh, the most decorated kid man and one of the longest.
as serving yeah. the members of the team. Just uh, what about him from your side? No, uh, I've I've been fortunate to work with a lot of uh, people, backroom staff, support staff, but incredible human being. Uh, he stands amongst one of the most hardest working that I know. Uh, we celebrated his day, we sang for him, um, but also he will go down into 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 the books of this football club for sure, as a as a loyal and diligent servant. And um, we wish him we wish him many more returns. Thank you guys. Thank you.